The studio update for May 2020 is released, so let's take a look at what this update brings us. First off, there were a bunch of bugs fixed in this update, which is always nice to see. And there were some tweaking of some features. As well, we have 56 new parts added. We get a lot of nice prints to work with. I won't get into all the bug fixes. In the description below, I will post the release notes so you can take a look at what they did there. But let's take a look at some of the tweaks that they have made to the program. One thing they've done is make it so that the custom parts template is now able to be seen whether or not you have the hide unavailable colors options checked. So now you won't be trying to find those parts when you create them in studio and bring them in and then forget the fact that you had that option checked. There was an issue where when you created a sub model in one file and copied and pasted that to another file that the description over here would disappear. That has been corrected now. So if we open another file and we paste that sub model, we have our description. Somebody on the forums mentioned it was rather annoying when you go to edit a submodel and there are other submodels linked to it that you always get this warning popping up saying that the submodels will all be affected and whether you want to edit that one or edit them all. They have changed that message now. So if we create a few clones of this and now we click on the edit button, it will say all submodels will be affected by this action and you have the option of turning that message off. There was an odd thing in the step view when you would go and select multiple parts and use your right mouse button that it would only select one part. That has been fixed. The last thing, which is a welcome little tweak, is that when you would use the hide tool and you would hide a part and then click to bring up another part the hide tool would still be active so when you go to click on the build screen with another part that it would automatically hide it that has been fixed so now when you go to grab a new part the hide tool deactivates so that we have our part on the build screen like you would expect so we've laid out the parts that are new to this update we have lots of printed parts here we got a new dome piece in light blue gray lots of tiles with prints on them we have the new prints from the dots line i love this line so i can't wait to see more of these prints added in to studio we have the little cupcake here. We have a new transparent round plate along with some Millennium Falcon prints. We have this piece also from the dots line, although the color is not added in yet. So you'll have to go and find the color to go with that. We have this cool new piece, which I didn't even know existed until this update happened. Another print on an older part. We also have a new car frame. So new minifig prints, some new hair types, and a couple new minifig tools. So that's the update in a nutshell. Next month, I will be doing the same thing. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share it around to others who will benefit from it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming of bricks. Bye-bye.